Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The primary tool available for you to use in Excel is the ribbon. The ribbon lets you perform all of the commands available in the program. The ribbon is divided into tabs. Within these tabs are different button groups of commands. You can access the commands in each button group by using either the buttons, boxes, or menus available within that button group. To access advanced options for some button groups, you can click the Dialog Box Launcher button in the lower right corner of some button groups on the currently displayed or active tab within the ribbon. Doing this then opens a dialog box of all the available options or settings for the selected button group. Also, notice that you can double-click the Active tab within the ribbon to both hide and show the contents of the ribbon. This can be a handy way to gain additional workspace while creating your workbook's contents. You can click the main tabs in the ribbon to switch the button groups that appear. The default tabs that appear in the ribbon are File, Home, Insert, Draw, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, View, Help, and possibly add-ins if you have add-ins enabled in your version of Excel. You can also enable the Developer tab if using macros or code within a workbook. In addition to the primary tabs available in Excel, you will also see special contextual tabs appear in the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected in a workbook. Contextual tabs appear, for example, when you select either a picture, table, diagram, drawing, or chart in your workbook. The button groups on the contextual tabs directly relate to modifying the selected type of object. To hide the contextual tabs, click away from the selected object in the workbook to deselect it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.